trinket. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, every single everything in the Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a guy who's fallen and he sure can't get up, Gary Butterfield. It's actually very sad. I'm it's, podcasting it's incredi- from the floor. Boy, once you start thinking about, I've fallen and I can't get up, and especially when you're in your late 30s or early 40s. And live alone. And live alone, yep. yeah. It yeah. starts to get pretty sad. I I have oftentimes thought uh, about, like, if I that were to happen to me, how long it would take. Yeah, before, yeah, yeah, I know. We've, you know. we've talked about it many times. Yeah. And then I've also oftentimes thought about if it happened to Cole, how long it would take. Okay, sure. Cole uh, talks to his family every single day. So I, I, yeah, so he's got family in town and also I would check on him cause he's not, it's not like him to be not punctual, you know? But yeah. Mother uh, Ross would miss her, her evening night night and yeah, her, ba- her call baby, the cops. her baby little chick. Like, yeah. yeah, she would, she'd have to go give some worm to baby. We keep, um, we keep talking about having Cole on the show for a week. We gotta, we got we should get that out. We, we just have to do it. Like we have all these plans right now. And the issue is I don't think about this show until the yeah. day before we record <laughs> it. <laughs> like we still have to think. We literally don't know if, if we're going to release, start releasing these as, in week chunks or. Yeah. We got to talk about this stuff, but we don't have time to talk about it. We got to make the thing. We got to make the thing busy. Uh, before, uh, if, if I were to do that, I, uh, the nice thing is my girl, my current girlfriend now would freak out. Yeah. So at some point, somebody would come and check in on me. So you're suggesting that your entire well-being is dependent on whether you can maintain this romantic relationship. That's healthy, right? That's a, absolutely. That's, that's the, typically I, I've yeah. Uh, how I've handled it before we started recording. Yeah, Gary, uh, do you want to talk about your moment of incredible victory? Uh, it's not even victory. I'm just gobsmacked by it. <laughs> your moment so, of uh, like a moment <laughs> that so shocked and surprised you. It really did get to me. So uh, here's a, a thing about me is I don't uh, – I've got an a unusual relationship with, with intelligence and I don't – I have a, a, a conception of my brain that doesn't include the idea of being smart or right about a lot of things. Okay. You know? Like uh, I don't think about facts or figures or dates or numbers. If you uh, show Gary a calendar, you just get angry grunts. I, I, yeah, I, I, I just, the whole thing doesn't look like anything to me. Yeah. You like, know? why, why is it all, trying, Gary, a calendar like, that's all triangles? Is that something? Ooh, super calendar. Just, what you're super describing. calendar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's my Buckminster Fuller geodesic super calendar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can conceive of it. Imagine a 3D calendar. It tells I, me what date it should be. But I, I, so, so two of my best friends, they have kids and mm-hmm. people have asked me how old these kids are. And if you put a gun to my head, I could not tell you. Yeah. Like I just have, I just have no idea. Like I'm a real idiot about things that are fixed in space, you know, like mm-hmm. objective reality things. Uh, so you and I feel like on the show, a lot of times, a lot of times when it comes to entertainment writing, like yeah, I'll it's be literally like, oh, my yeah. job to be uh, factually accurate about yeah. basically yeah, yeah. anything I say. It fucks up my like personal relationships. Cause I'm like, can we, can we not speculate at all? Yeah. Because I'll boy, get yelled at by my boss. And speculating is super fun and your boss isn't here. Uh, I know. So the people who get upset at you about that are correct to do so. Yeah. Um, oh, anybody he, who gets upset at me about anything <laughs> is correct to do so, Gary. But but usually when we're talking on the show, you're right about stuff and I'm wrong about factual things. Like this I'll be like. I want to be clear. This is not a dynamic I have thought about or tried to cultivate. This is a dynamic I, I that exists th- entirely no. in the Gary brain. And I haven't tried to cultivate it or anything and I don't have a problem with it. I just, in my mind, I'm like, oh, if it's a factual thing. Like, Will is more likely to know it. Yeah. And we're all clear that Gary's not mad about this. I'm not mad at all. Like, I couldn't care less. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm very comfortable with myself. Um, But uh, before we started recording, you thought, mm-hmm. you, Will, Hughes thought. Oh, I'm about to be three, humiliated here on the, on the public record. <laughs> Will Hughes, professional entertainment writer, thought that the uh, 3DSE shop was going to shut down this month and not a year from now. And yeah. I was like, I think it's a year from now. And me saying it to you made me immediately doubt it. Uh-huh. Like part of the reason why this had a big impact is because I was racing through my mind and being like, oh, what I got to download a bunch of stuff. I thought I had a year, uh, but it's next year. It's very rare that I remember a date. It's always you know? fun for me to meet the monster version of me that exists in my loved one's heads. <laughs> There's no monster. I'm, <laughs> I'm super happy about it. Like I'm it's just like, no, me. Who knows this stuff? it's me, the brainiac. 
<laughs> it's me, a brain yellow. It's a brain yellow. Yeah, Who it's, it's, dares challenge my infinite triangular calendar? <laughs> there's no, there's no monsterism. It's just it's it's like I would ask you if I find it's why I ask you kid science questions. Uh, like that's so a bit, I'm, but also I don't know the answer. I assume you do. <laughs> I'm Gary's Google. Yeah, you're you're like something of a mentor in terms of uh, factual information, not spiritual or philosophical things. Yeah, that's going to be my uh, that's going to be my brand in the apocalypse is I'm just going to change my name to Google and like you're gonna Dabic or whatever. You're, you're going to be not Dabic. Um, you're going to be uh, what is the name for uh, the encyclopedia that Mort is in Torment? Oh, shit. Uh, I mean, we could just a say Mimir. a Mentat from. Um, yes, a Mimir. You you're going to be a Mimir. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert, not really a Mamir. Just knows a lot of shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't, don't trust the skull. Yakko Warner. Don't trust the skull. Your back says it. Um, Gary, what's your back would, say about me? Ooh, let me check. I can't. <laughs> I would, I, it'd be a, if somebody were to like make me get a back tattoo that said, don't trust, trust the skull. Yeah. I'd be mad for a minute because they made me get a tattoo. Yeah, they violated like the, the autonomy of your body. Yeah, my body. But it'd be, it's a pretty badass tattoo. Yeah, like tattoo. for a torment tattoo. <laughs> you really got oh hello on that pr- pronunciation for a second. <laughs> for it would be a badass tattoo. tattoo. <laughs> a torment tattoo. <laughs> it's like wallpaper. <laughs> um, the uh, uh, anywho, so I was just very happy to be uh, just as just to see. It was like I saw a novelty. It's like I saw a rare bird. Yeah, that I was right about that date. So. That's, that's how my day's going. How your how's your day going? I'm I'm Gary. I'm doing great. I get to talk about Panic Button, a weird trinket. I I think this is real bad. I, it is. I don't bad, like it. but it's interesting. It is interesting. Uh, it doesn't look like a Panic Button. It I think it's meant like to look. Pokemon, I mean, it looks like a Tamagotchi. Yeah, like a Tamagotchi, like a Pokemon uh, walking Pikachu. Gary, real fast, yeah. give me how John Mulaney doing a funny voice would say Tamagotchi. Uh, Tamagotchi, no. That's not it. Is it Tamaguchi? No, it's, it's a hard word for her, for that. I know, uh, but voice. he would say it, and it would be the funniest yeah. thing I've ever heard. Have you ever <laughs> seen the guy who uh, does John Mulaney at, if he was as a the Sims? Sims. God, That's really so good. F- Oflay. Oh, oh, Oflay. That's very good. Uh, apparently, that guy's a huge douche. Oh well, the, uh, the impressionist uh, guy. Somebody was like, "That guy sucks." Well, uh, God damn it, Gary. Thanks. <laughs> like, uh. But what this does is it's uh, it's trinket, and uh, before you get hit, if you have a full charge of your active item, it uses your active item. Yeah. So the the ideal use case for this is if you have Book of Shadows, right? Yeah. Or Necronomicon so, or anything that's going to prevent you from getting damaged. Yeah. So, like, you're about to get hit. I would love to know how the game calculates that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, triggers your book of shadows and then you didn't get hit. So this is in that specific situation. It's great. I'm sure what it does, it just lets you get hit. Like it just doesn't do the damage. Yeah. Yeah. I died. But the only thing it uses time travel. You don't think we're using quantum computing for this uh, trinket in the binding of Isaac, like a super Isaac. Yeah. Like a a 3d Isaac. Now imagine it. Oh wait, Gary, imagine a 3d Isaac. I guess people have done that since. Yeah. It's not, it's not great. (laughs) Actually, yeah, there's like there's it. a bunch of game, fucking paranautical activity or whatever. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. There's several of them. They're they top out at fine. Um, the the simplicity control? of the gameplay is part oh. of the point. Yeah, I. Uh, so I agree with you. This is an interesting idea. I just it's very rare that I have the trinket and the item that makes this good. Yeah, there's lots of shit that this is nothing. Yeah, well, how to or jump? Actively bad. Fuck yeah, like, how to you jump? Wanna, yeah, how to jump <laughs> the uh, or you're saving your your big fuck off item for the boss. You don't care if you get hit on your way into the boss. You know, you don't want to use the right because you want to use it to, uh, you know, uh, get a put a dent in hush or whatever. Yeah. So I guess this that is, a, that's not a good example because there are enemies before hush. But you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I So the rating on this is super conditional, I think. Yes. Yeah. Incredibly powerful if you have the right, like if you run into it when you're already running with the right active item, this is great, I would say. Yeah. Yep, yep. There's a a version of this in Enter the Gungeon that's really good that uses blanks before you get hit. And that works out a lot better because you have multiple blanks. Is that Daruma? Uh, um, I think it, no, Daruma is the, uh, it's not Daruma. 
Uh, we just got to uh, fucking pivot to Gungeon, man. Yeah, man. I'll, I'm always, I'll always talk about talk about Gungeon. We got to um, find something. We're running out of stuff. We're really running out of runway here, man. It, it's <laughs> it's terrifying. The uh, I don't know. And and we need the topic because here's the thing about you and I is Our we're com- friends. We don't we talk. I mean, we eh. we we do a great job if we have a prompt. We do an amazing job if we have a, have a prompt. Uh, we got lunch together. You and I and uh, my now yep. fiance Olivia got lunch together, and yes. it was I, I felt really bad for Olivia. I <laughs> I did too. Uh, it was it reminded me of uh, our my ex girlfriend who I met you through. Mm-hmm. Uh, saying that she didn't want to hang out what didn't want to hang out with me in Brayton because it's too much. It's, and then you later telling me that when we live together and being like, I don't need to listen to the page. The, I you and it. Brayton reach like transcendent. Like you and I get to get up to some heights. You and Brayton get into a mind meld thing where it gets like transcendent. Me and me and him are soulmates. Yeah. Me and Brayton. Thank I once you. Brayton had a he had a, a a comedy partner in a band. He was in mm-hmm. a comedy band for a little while. Uh, with this guy named John uh-huh. and uh, John went up to me one point after one of their shows and says, I'm really jealous about your relationship with Brayton. <laughs> it was really weird. He was like genuine and kind of drunk. <laughs> it felt real weird. That's heavy. Man. Uh, That's was, like, some heavy shit. It's super, it super heavy, but I love Brayton. We all love Brayton. God, who doesn't love Brayton? Uh, Gary, if people uh, love this show, what should they do? I give Brayton some money. Give Brayton some track down. I Brayton don't, Cameron. <laughs> give yeah, him some fucking money. Fiver. Yeah. Just throw five bucks into his palm and say, thank you. Thank you for your service. Yeah. You are America's hero. You're a thousand firefighters combined. Can people stop stealing Brayton's valor? That That's true. I wear sometimes wear a little medal that says, hey, I'm Brayton. <laughs> okay, it's the you're, definition of stolen. Oh, you're the problem. Yeah, I'm the definition of stolen valor. But I just want to be closer to him. I'm jealous of my relationship with Brayton. Uh <laughs> You can uh, leave us range reviews on Apple Podcasts or Podcast Addict as well. Yeah, like this one left on Podcast Addict by Josh. Like listening to the podcast version of Daphne du Maurier's Rebecca. Will and Will's friend suffer a slow mental decline as they invite reviewers multiple times a week to remind them that Cole <laughs> Ross exists and is excellent by pointing at an illustrious, if imaginary, portrait of the man himself. I like it when the hosts hurt each other's feelings, but don't like when they actually hurt each other's feelings. And the fun part is determining which of the two is actually happening in any episode. Yeah. That's a five star review. It's a really relatable review. Yeah, no, I felt like, it. I, I, that one yeah, got I Gary. That, that one got me in the fields. Yeah, I, I also my favorite part is hurting each other's feelings, but not actually hurting each other's feelings. And but it's some, hard to tell the difference. And sometimes. then after the show, going, did we actually hurt each other's feelings? No, we're good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, good review. Uh, until next time, what should Click and Clack do uh, with their ball sacks? Abject suffering uh, outro here. There we are.